Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining today's practice. My name is Master Paul. And today we're going to be focusing on a sacred mantra known as Wang Ar Hong. And the sacred mantra helps to open your spiritual channels. It helps to clear the blockages and the major uh, torso of your body, from the bottom of your torso to the top of your head. So everything except the extremities, it assists in clearing the blockages. So for all those that are tuning in or just scrolling by, I encourage you to stay, especially if you have low energy <coughs> or any health conditions. Uh, this could assist you greatly. So I encourage you to stay and join. If you're not quite able to, but you would like to, hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe to my page and you'll be notified when I go live. But also, um, if you friend me, you can access all of the videos uh, in the archive and that access li is listed above here. So I encourage you to watch the replays if you can't stay live. So we've got quite a few folks coming. Today is July 3, 2017. It is the day before Independence Day here in, uh, in America. <clears throat> I know that half the world or three quarters of the world doesn't really care about that. and. Uh, but it's nice uh, because for a lot of us it's a day off and it's the day we get to see fireworks. So actually at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, we are uh, going to be chanting love, peace and harmony. So you're welcome to come and join us at that time. We will be serving humanity. But we're going to only be there about an hour or so <clears throat> so that we can break and go watch the fireworks ourselves. One nice thing about living in Hawaii is you're always close to the ocean. And so our center is about a 15 minute walk away from the ocean. So majority of us, I think, will simply uh, walk out the center and walk down to the pier and watch the uh, fireworks from there. So today is the first day of the week. It is a Monday. <clears throat> and for a lot of people, they're either just getting themselves out of bed, like in Indy, it's 5.30 a.m. In, uh, in Europe, it's quite late. It's 1 a.m., 2 a.m., depending on where you're at over there. Uh, and in some places, people are, are getting ready to tuck themselves in. It's 9 p.m. at night. And so thank you for taking the time to join me here today. And that's right. Somebody did say it is 4th of July. Uh, and I guess that would be in Australia and possibly India. So happy 4th of July for those there who I don't know why you would celebrate an American holiday, but great. <clears throat> so welcome, Susan Birchmore. Aloha. Welcome also to Jessica Gregory. Aloha, Kristen Rojas. Welcome, Lisa Zarniak. Welcome, CJ. Uh, aloha and welcome to Linda Jansen. Heather House. Aloha, Heather. And welcome, Afrosini. Welcome, Jack Jackie uh, Shelifo. And also welcome to uh, Shelly. Aloha to Abby Lynn. Welcome, Abby. And thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Welcome, Ali. Welcome, Elizabeth. And welcome also to Nick Corey. Welcome to Kate Nicole. And welcome, Kristen Stricken. Welcome, Janine, also. So, um, the weekend was full at uh, the Healing Center here. They had, uh, as a cleaning up weekend, because Master Francisco is coming. For those that are not familiar with who is Master Francisco, um, Master Francisco is <clears throat> is a, an amazing soul. He's he's a person that I have no problem bowing my head to. He is such a humble, uh, universal servant. Very, uh, very, very clear spiritual channels. His 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 third eye is so wide open. He sees things without ever closing his eyes. He just walks around, and he might, you know, uh, one time. One of the students I was talking to, who is now a master, he said, did you know Jesus is standing behind you? And she says, no, she's in Australia, no, really, what did he say? He said, he wasn't saying anything, he was just, you know, standing over you and blessing you. Uh, that's the kind of third eye this, this soul has. He has brilliant, uh, clear channels. And Master Shah uses uh, Master Francisco to do a great deal of his soul readings. Uh, master Francisco will be in Honolulu. Uh, for the next two weekends. So starting this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's a free Friday evening for the next two Fridays. And then the weekend, 
as workshop. Uh, this weekend workshop is for advanced, so you have to be approved, so you can't assume you'll be allowed in <coughs> because it will be advanced teachings. Um, and then the following weekend is open for everybody. So by all means, highly recommend you attend his workshop. So let's see, we've had a few more people join us. Welcome also to uh, Ari. Welcome Melanie Hills. And welcome Terry Nusina. Aloha, Terry. Welcome Richie Souder. Aloha, Dana Knapp. Aloha also to CJ. I think I connected with you already, CJ. And welcome Angela. Welcome also to Chloe. Thank you, Chloe, for always saying hi to me. And welcome to Julia. All right. So today, uh, before we get into it, we will connect with love, peace, and harmony. But for those just tuning in, today is chanting a special mantra. And this mantra is specific to uh, clearing the blockages from head to torso. Uh, we have a lot of blockages in this arena. And so if you're just tuning in, please stick around. It will be a very powerful session. Uh, very likely you will feel quite a bit better by the end of it. <coughs> even if you already feel good. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. So that's just like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of our heart center. Our right hand remains gently pointed up towards heaven. And this is a, a song for all those that are new or watching for the first time or listening on podcasts for the first time. This is a, a song that is in 43 languages and uh, many people every day connect at noon to chant, to serve humanity and bring love, peace and harmony. So you can learn more. Uh, Kristen is posting uh, links to this if you're interested. And for those that are listening on podcast, it's lovepeaceharmony.org. Welcome, Alicia. So let us connect. Close your eyes. Release the day. Prepare for the day. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao and source, our beloved angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, angels, healing angels, and archangels. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you most humbly and most sincerely to please be with us at this time, to serve us in our soul journey. Bless us as we do any of the practices to clear our Shen Chi Jing blockages. We're very, very grateful. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you from our heart and soul for all that you do for us. Even though we do not always see you or know your presence, we are extremely grateful for your saving of our life, for your guidance, for your wisdom, your teachings, and your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you most humbly and most sincerely <clears throat> to be present. We ask all souls in all universes to chant with us as we chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to offer our unconditional service to all souls at this time. So for those that are new first time, this is a blessing. You can make a request uh, silently. Just ask heaven and the blessing will begin in a moment. For everyone else, let us join and serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run ran lay. Wrong ling, wrong her musher shang. Shang I ping on a say. Shang I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. <coughs> I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. 
love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you all uh, for coming. Thank you also for sharing. And we've had a few more folks join us. So welcome also to uh, Angie Taylor. Aloha, Johnny Mambod. Welcome to Jeannie, uh, Jeannie, Jeannie Markham. And Aloha, Carol Whitney. Welcome, Jean Wood. <coughs> welcome also um, Esther Otoitza. Oteza. <laughs> uh, welcome, Esther. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you here. So if anybody I haven't mentioned, uh, please forgive me. Welcome Catherine Copen. Welcome also to Janice Crosby uh, Carter. So today is going to be a really valuable day. Uh, there are uh, really many, 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 many practices that uh, my teacher, Master Shah, has brought to humanity to service. Some of them are very specific. Uh, some of them th um, that are very specific to our organs or our systems. Some of them are specific to our chakras. Some of them are specific to uh, moving the energy through our main channel. And welcome Richie Souter. Some of them are also um, specific to offering blessings. Some uh, practices are for uh, inner self and some practices are for serving outside of us. The practice we're going to do today, however, is one that is I would term as a universal practice. One that could and should be used with anybody you care about. This includes the elderly that are in hospice, those that are in a, a, in a bed, uh, children, uh, and just about anybody. If you are involved in yoga and you have a yoga studio, I would absolutely recommend this. <clears throat> this practice is so uh, uh, valuable that doing it, even just five minutes each day, Will have a significant benefit to you. So why is that? Uh, and I can say that really about all the practices, but if you just have enough um, room in that brain to, to deal with the one practice only, then this is the one I would most likely recommend. And I mean that lovingly. What I mean is we've got so much responsibility in our life. Uh, how am I supposed to remember all this stuff? This is a very good practice to remember and do. Welcome Giles. Great to see you here, Giles. And so <clears throat> the practice is called Wang Ar Hong. Welcome, Becky Lefav. The Wang Ar Hong practice has a 5,000 year history, and I have taught it on this um, live stream before, but it's been several months, and there are some newer folks. And then also, the ability to remember and remember the value of it and practice it can wane over time. So it's always good to have these reminders. And so uh, the practice of Wang Ar Hong is quite ancient. Uh, we can say it's at least uh, three to five thousand years old, is it? and it, uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, originated from the Far East, uh, China zone. The Wang are and Hong are what is a sound power. Um, for those that have watched often enough or are very familiar with Master Shaw wisdom, the sound power actually has an association to an area of the body. Wang, for example, although it's in this practice, is not specific to the crown chakra. When we do blessings or our practices for the crown chakra, we use that sound power, Wong, W-E-N-G, Wong. R, A-R, is a sound power we use for the heart center. And again, although we won't be focusing on the heart center with this practice, it does resonate the entire area. Same as Wong resonates the entire upper part of the body. And then Hong, H-O-N-G, Hong, that resonates and vibrates the bottom part of the uh, uh, torso. And thank you, Kristen, for typing in Wang Ar Hong so people could see how it's written and pronounced. So what does this practice do and what is the value and the significance to us on, an, on a um, personal level? When we do a practice of this nature on a consistent basis, it doesn't really matter what the malady is. It's highly likely you will notice a positive difference. How can I say that so confidently? Because historically, that's what I've seen. Not by me, but I've literally witnessed it with hundreds, hundreds of people. And so that's how I can say that confidently. The first time I heard this practice was from uh, the second master that I'd studied under uh, prior to meeting my spiritual father, Master Sha. And it was a female Chinese master. She's an enlightened being. And um, she also does miracle healing. 
But I didn't know much about her or her, this practice or what she was capable of at the time I learned it from her. And she had a slightly different body power and, and slight, slight variations to it. But that was the first time I heard it. I wished I had had greater understanding of it. I definitely would have practiced it a lot more. But that was one reason why I went from the second master to my teacher, Master Shah, because Master Shah uh, speaks much better English and is able to educate me in the way that my soul needs that education food. Uh, much like I'm sure you guys are enjoying this as well. Okay, uh, welcome Melanie Hiltz, welcome also Adriana, and welcome Kristen Strachan. Uh, if I haven't commented or mentioned your name, double blessings to you, please forgive me. So, when we do this practice, of course we will incorporate the four powers, which is the body power, sound power, mind power, and the most important power, soul power. Uh, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know we do this often. But there's a value, and that's why we repeat it. Master Shah repeats many, 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 many things. He repeats himself probably a thousand times. The question is, which time do we actually hear it? And so uh, very often it's not the first time. And very often we might get 20% the first time, 40% the second time, and so forth. So lots of nuggets to be given. So the, the, the wisdom that Master Shah has shared with us, and this is in multiple books, so I know, for example, it is in the um, Soul Mind Body Medicine book. I also know that it is in the um, the Tao uh, uh, Song Tao Dance book. Uh, I believe it's in a third book also. I want to say Soul Healing Miracles. So it's in multiple books. Um, but you truly don't need to look it up if you can just memorize the basic structures of what we're doing here. So the Wong Ar Hong practice, if you did it... Um, Especially if you have significant stuff. I know several people I'm watching right now, they have significant stuff going on. If you did this practice, we're talking major illness now, once an hour for five minutes each time, once an hour, it's highly, highly, highly unlikely you would not be feeling a lot better in a short period of time. Now, I don't mean cured, but I just mean like, wow, my energy is returning. Like, wow, I'm not in pain or suffering. I'm not bent over. Uh, that kind. Now, how is that possible? The body uh, is basically made up of a, of a torso, think of it like an egg, and it's got two arms and two legs. So this whole torso, the egg, so to speak, is where everything works. All of our organs, all of our systems are in our torso. Uh, all of the major organs in the upper part of the torso, which Master Shaw refers to as the upper jowl. Jowl means space. So the upper space, which is from where? The upper jowl is from the top of the, um, the sternum, excuse me, the diaphragm, up to the top of the head. So the diaphragm is where the, the rib cages connect at that V point. That's where the diaphragm ends. And so from that point to the top is called the upper jowl. The middle jowl <coughs> is from that diaphragm point down to the belly button. Okay, that's the middle jowl. The lower jowl is from the belly button down to the base of the torso. So these areas of the body have a massive amount of space in them. And space is where energy gets blocked. Uh, chi. Remember, the nature of Master Shah's wisdom and teachings is, <clears throat> is in reverse of what we know in modern medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. Tradition, and he studied both of these, mind you. He's a doctorate in both of these. So traditional Chinese medicine works with qi. Move the qi, blood follows. Whereas traditional Western medicine only works with the matter, the jing. And so they adjust the matter at the level of either doing surgery or pharmaceuticals or something of that nature to adjust the matter. Whereas the Eastern medical practitioner would adjust the qi and therefore the matter would move and adjust accordingly. But above that is soul. Soul is comprised of soul, heart, and mind. And then there is energy, and then there is matter. So what is above the mind, or what is above mind power, is the soul. So when we uh, look at the torso of the body, we want to recognize that this is an energy vehicle. And in our energy vehicle, energy gets blocked. It just gets trapped. And uh, early on in Master Shah Wisdom and Teachings, one of the uh, wisdoms that I learned was called the, the uh, cell theory. 
And the, the simple version of it is this. Cells vibrate, okay? So you imagine your, your, your field is 100 trillion cells. <clears throat> Billions and numbers are too big to count. Lots of cells. Now cells vibrate. <laughs> now all life vibrates, okay? So don't question that. Cells definitely vibrate. But cells need to vibrate in what's called balance or relative balance. What does that mean? Well, cell theory states that um, cells are made up of energy and matter, and so is the space. So when cells contract, the matter that's inside the cell transforms to energy outside the cell. Try to visualize that. So cells contract, they squeeze down on themselves, and boop, energy outside the cells come. Energy outside the cells then comes back into the cell. So cells are always breathing in and out energy and matter, okay? When that is in relative balance, <clears throat> chi flows, blood flows, we're perfectly healthy. When it is not in relative balance, we've got a significant problem. Call Houston, the, we're not gonna be able to land on the moon. So we want to be able to create relative balance in the spaces of the human torso. This body gets so incredibly blocked up and we keep trying to fix it with, with all of these, one, and I take them, I took some this morning, vitamins, minerals, herbs, right? Uh, pharmaceuticals if we need them, a uh, little exercise here, a little exercise there. We try to do our best to make ourselves feel better, but nothing seems to work. Okay, let's take a look at why because there is something above the energy and the matter, and that is the soul. When you bring balance to the soul first, then everything that's beneath it, which is the heart and the mind and the energy and the matter, it has to adjust. It has no choice because soul is above it. Just like matter adjusts because energy is above matter. That's why the Eastern practitioners have success. They adjust the energetic imbalances. The matter adjusts to reflect the balances that occurred above it. What's above energy? soul adjusts the soul everything below it has to adjust as well okay so when we do this practice wong ar hong what in essence are we doing we're creating a vibrational field utilizing the four powers that create a shift at the level of soul vibrate the blockages i'll tell you about the blockages in a minute and what does that do that moves the chi the chi then moves the matter okay and so this practice is so pertinent to our overall whole body health and wellness because it literally uh, shakes up the container and starts moving the chi that has been in our body but not able to move. So there are large spaces and there are small spaces in the body. A small space, for example, is in between the cells or the cells themselves. These are small spaces. A large space could be between the organs and the systems. Our body, in fact everything actually, is 90% space, 10% matter. And that number is certainly arguable. I've heard it say 1% matter and 99% space. But it's definitely a lot more space than there is matter. <clears throat> welcome to, I see quite a few new faces here, so I want to acknowledge you. So uh, welcome also to Arlene Watson. Thank you for joining. Welcome Elizabeth, welcome Christy Lynn, welcome also to um, Jackie uh, Shelifo, welcome Patricia Camino Falkowitz. Thank you all for joining. Anybody I haven't acknowledged, welcome also. So when we, when we invoke the four powers, body power, vibration, why? Because where your hands go, energy flows. When I show you this practice, there will be a specific body positioning. Sound power. Wong, ar, hong. Each sound vibrates a certain uh, area of the body. Wong vibrates the upper part of the torso. R vibrates the middle part of the torso. Where's the middle? From the V point, uh, uh, where the ribs connect at the V point, uh, just before the uh, top of the bottom of the rib cage down to the belly button that's the the middle jaw okay and the lower jaw is from the belly button down aloha and welcome rochelle <clears throat> and so when we uh add the sound power wong our home again we're vibrating 
the cellular structure. We're vibrating the blockages happening at the level of energy and matter. Uh, as we move into the next power, which is mind power, I will give you colors, but I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to practice a little bit and then I will add the colors <clears throat> because there's a color for each area. And then the soul power is the most significant. So let me share with you why so that this all comes together and makes sense and then we'll do the practice. So soul power is connecting to outer souls and inner souls. And this is this I know some of you know this. I'm repeating for some of the new folks that have shown up. So uh, who has a soul? You have a soul, I have a soul, right? Jesus has a soul, Buddha has a soul. Oceans have souls, mountains have souls, animals have souls. Matter of fact, everyone and everything has a spirit of divine creator in it, therefore everything has a soul. Outer souls can carry a much higher frequency than us. Uh, Mother Earth absolutely carries a much higher frequency than a human being. And so when we use and utilize soul power, remember soul is above the heart and the mind and the energy and the matter. So why wouldn't we want to bring as much of that high frequency in and rattle the blockages that are in our torso. <clears throat> we want to bring in the highest frequency possible, clear the crud. That can only happen when we incorporate soul power. Outer souls, we would invite in as an example, uh, Jesus, beloved Buddha, Mother Earth, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. We would invite in, you know, heaven, angels, archangels, invite them all. Okay, they all want to serve. Let's ask them to share their Shen, Qi, and Jing frequencies that are higher than ours and then help us. The inner souls are the souls of our upper jowl, middle jowl, and lower jowl. Now what's in the upper jowl? The upper jowl includes what? The brain, all the apparatus here in the throat, including the thyroid, our lungs. Sounds like some pretty important stuff, huh? Our entire cerebral uh, column back here, very, very important. So this upper jowl is one of the three rivers. The middle jaw, what does it contain? Remember, it's from the belly button up to the top of the diaphragm. It includes the, um, the kidneys, the liver, the pancreas, the spleen, the um, parts of the upper parts of the intestines. It also includes uh, uh, major, major uh, uh, lymph lymphatic activity in here. And so it's a huge part of our immunity. The lower jaw includes the kidneys, the adrenals, uh, all of the sexual organs, all of the urinary bladder, uh, everything in the lower part of the body. Lower part of the body also uh, houses many energy centers, some of them very secret energy centers. So these areas of the body, 99% of which is space, 90 to 99% depending on who you talk to, can get significant, significant, beyond your understanding significant blockages in them. If chi is not flowing, you feel like dung. Who wants to feel like that, right? Who wants to feel dumpy? Everybody, anybody sign up for that? Good half of you are probably there. You want to move the chi. You move the chi by doing the four power technique. So when we do this practice, that's why it could have such a significant impact. We're going to do it for a long time. I'm going to time it. We're going to do this practice for 15 minutes. That's a long practice, guys. You might have to sit down in the middle of it, which you can do, by the way. You can stand or sit. It works either way. Standing is going to be a little more movement of the chi through your body, so if you can, but I certainly understand if you would need to sit during the practice. But the reason I'm going to do 15 minutes is because I want you to be self-empowered. You know, a lot of times people come to this live stream because they're looking for how can I heal myself? And I share lots of wisdom, but we don't always apply it. Uh, and some of it we apply in pieces. But in terms of the physical, uh, physical, emotional body, you know, it can get very, very hard to, to drag it around through life when we have so much stuff going on. So this one practice could help you significantly if you're consistent with it. All right. So let me check if there's anything else I need to add to this wisdom. Give me a moment. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so body power. Body power, <clears throat> 
where you place your hands is where your energy goes. Pay attention. This part is important. If you use the wrong body power, you might not have the results you're looking for and you could actually cause yourself to not feel good. So pay attention to the body power. All right. <clears throat> if you have migraines, glaucoma, um, any uh, eye related conditions, you know, significant eye related conditions or upper head related conditions, tumors, things of that nature, then it is very important that both of your palms, okay, face, um, excuse me, together like this. Now, where are you going to place them? One is right at the diaphragm level. The other one is right above the belly button. Okay, so that's your hand position. Or right at the belly button is fine. So you can see it's about, oh, about six to seven inches apart on my body, right? So this is if you have any... Uh, upper body blockages, like I mentioned. Hypertension, yes, thank you for asking. Uh, that was the one thing I failed to mention. Hypertension, if you have high blood pressure, hypertension, uh, palms like this, all right? If those major Ill, uh, conditions, hypertension, uh, heart-related, major heart-related condition, uh, major eye condition or head condition, then you can turn the upper hand upwards like this. Okay, so that's the body power if you have, don't have those three conditions. This moves the chi through the entire upper part of the body. What are we doing? We are <clears throat> vibrating the three rivers that lead to the ocean. There is an ocean that runs through the back of the body. And this is the ocean of life as I referred to it on the, on the because it allows the blockages of the uh, spiritual debt blockages, the negativity blockages that come to us in the form of suffering. And w we have not always been the most positive people in life. We have not always done the most positive things uh, to others and neither have our ancestors. And so those uh, negative generated um, conditions, they, they come to the space in our body and they create blockages. So this is why I can say with confidence that this will assist you. Okay. So when we vibrate them using the four powers, that's how you do it. So that First one is a soul power. Now, COPD, uh, that doesn't matter. That's okay to, to have both palms up. Okay, so COP, okay to have your palms up. No problem. Let's see if there's any other questions. All right. Uh, insomnia, this will help you. Uh, just keep your palms up. Okay, if it wasn't those three things, hypertension, uh, eye problems, glaucoma, migraine, you're good to go, palms up. Everything else, palms facing each other, okay? Sound power, wong ar hong in one breath. I'll give you an example. Wong ar hong. Breathe in. Okay, so uh, do not lose your breath or get lightheaded. Usually, I, in fact, it rarely happens, but if you are doing this from a tense perspective, then don't do that. Um, just relax a little bit, catch your breath. You can always do this silently. It works just fine, all right? So the sound power is Wang our home, all in one breath, Hong, H-O-N-G. Mind power, I'll share with you in a little bit. For now, what I'd like you to do is just focus on, um, in your entire torso, from top of your head down to the base of your torso, just visualize light circulating, okay? Just see light going through your body circulating. So that's going to be sufficient for now until I give you three colors. Soul power. Let's do the soul power and then we'll do this practice together. So everybody, let's place our hands, soul light, soul service, hand position, connecting heaven to our heart center, dropping the left hand in front of our heart center. Let's connect to the soul world, ask them to assist us. I will walk you through this. We are going to do a forgiveness practice also. Why do we have blockages in our spaces? Because spiritual debt, negativity. We must do forgiveness practice if you want the best results, all right? So we'll start with the forgiveness, then we'll do the soul power. If you're comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all souls, 
in all time. If I or my ancestors have made any mistakes by wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions, creating in your world suffering physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, relationships. If I or my ancestors have done anything that has brought you away from a place of love, light, and happiness, from my heart and soul, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I ask your unconditional forgiveness, and I will continue to purify and become a better servant to humanity. I thank you for this opportunity to receive your forgiveness. To all souls, I offer you all my unconditional forgiveness, release you fully and completely of your spiritual debts to me, and ask for your unconditional forgiveness. Let us move forward in love peace and harmony okay now we'll do soul power please continue to repeat dear my beloved creator you can call it whatever you want divine Tao, source name it whatever you want dear beloved mother earth dear my heavens teams guides angels and saints dear all the beings of light angels healing angels archangels Masters and Ascended Masters, dear beloved Buddha, dear beloved Jesus, all beings of light, I love you, honor you, respect you. Most humbly ask for your presence, that if you could share as appropriate your blessings, that I can open my blockages to self-heal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we tech connect to the inner souls continue to repeat dear the soul of my upper jowl middle jowl and lower jowl the soul of my Y jowl the space in the back of my body dear the soul of all of my cells that make up my body I love you on you and appreciate you dear the soul of the mantra Wong R Hong I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you all work together to release the blockages in my body? I'm very grateful. Thank you. Okay? So you can stand up or you can sit down. Again, one more time on the body power. For those that have glaucoma, uh, hypertension, blood pressure concerns, or um, migraines, eye concerns your hands are like this facing each other for everyone else both palms may be up okay so with your eyes closed visualize light circulating in your body let us begin Whoa. breath in if you're standing make sure your knees are slightly bent deep breath in Now, if my breath is too long for you, just take a little bit shorter breath. It's okay. Deep breath in. Whoa. I 
eyes closed, visualizing. Whoa. Make sure your shoulders and arms are relaxed, no tenseness. Whoa. So Wong is the upper, R is the middle part of the body, Hong is the lower part of the body. As you chant, feel the vibration in each area. Continue. Continue to chant. <clears throat> so some of you may notice uh, things building up in certain parts of your body. Continue to chant. Don't change your hand position unless you have those conditions. What's happening is the energy is trying to move in a circle and it's getting stuck. So just continue to practice. Visualize the light flowing in a circle in your body. <clears throat> Now I want you to see red in the upper part of the body, white in the middle part of the body, blue in the lower part of the body. So as you chant Wong, visualize white. R, visualize, excuse me, as you chant Wong, visualize red in the upper part of the body. Then blue and then white as you move to the lower part of the body. Start adding this visualization. Wong.
will chant for you. You will chant silently, visualizing the red, the white, and the blue. Your body will still have great vibration. Follow my chant. Continue to chant silently. See the light in every part of your torso. Bright light. See the cells dancing, vibrating. Whoa. Now chant out loud again. <clears throat> Remember to keep your legs slightly bent, keep your shoulders relaxed, 
Continue to see the light circulating through your body. <clears throat> oh. body. If you're standing, just feel it. My head feels light but not dizzy. I feel heat running through my body. What do you feel? If your head was full before, is it empty now? So when you get ready, have a seat. Let me know what your experience was. This practice <coughs> will boost <coughs> energy for those that need energy. It will allow you to sleep if that's what you need most. Why? Because it doesn't um, do anything other than allow the physical body to operate as best as possible. And if what the body needs is rest, then it will clear the blockages so that can occur. If what the body needs is energy, it will clear the blockages so that can occur. This is why I was telling you in the beginning <clears throat> that it is the all-around excellent practice that for those with major, major stuff, five minutes each hour, more is better, but at least five minutes each hour. Now, if you're horizontal, do not chant out loud, okay? It drains your energy to chant when you're horizontal. <clears throat> it's okay to chant. It's okay to do everything the same. Just chant silently, okay? It will clear the blockages just the same. The vibration that occurs when we chant out loud um, clears larger spaces, and the vibration when we chant when we chant silently clears smaller spaces. Uh, but they all clear spaces, and that's the key. The Also a great key is to always use the soul power when we connect to the soul of the mantra wang our home to all the beings of light that came to offer their service tremendous tremendous chi comes to us uh, julia says my energy feels lighter and clearer yeah it's very actually it's very it's it's very palpable you can feel it definitely but it's also very subtle at the same time and this is literally what an energy body feels like People, you know, we, they lose track of what it feels like to be in a healthy, energy-filled body. This is what it feels like. <clears throat> and this is 15 minutes. Uh, Frasini says, tears. 
Uh, Linda says heat and an empty head. Yeah, my head is very empty. It feels my head feels um, light and fluffy, like a, like a cotton ball, but not, you know, gone. Welcome, Quincy. Great to see you here. <coughs> a lot of activity in the solar plexus. Yeah, where you feel it most is probably where the majority of the blockages were. Uh, Linda says a great feeling. Uh, Linda Jansen says heat running through her body, vibrating and feeling more energy. Uh, Janine, powerful. Thank you, Master Paul. Received a lot of positive energy and sweat out the negative ones. Yep. CJ, vibrating, sweating. Yep. Feel sleepy already. Wonderful. Excellent. Melody, headache, but very mild tingles and vibrating in the body. So, Melody, you're carrying a lot of stuff. You've got a lot going on. So, this is something for you that would be very wise to do every hour. <clears throat> you could be surprised the benefit. Uh, Janice, uh, heads feeling lighter. Good. And uh, Karen says the cells feel better. I tell you, the cells, they have souls. Cells are very happy when they can operate in relative balance. Very happy. And if you remember, I, I connect to the souls of the cells. They are the souls of the cells. You have the ability to vibrate yourself to bring health and wellness. That's an example of soul communication. That will help you tremendously. Yeah, you're very welcome, Melanie, and you're welcome, Heather, also. Uh, Shelly says there's pain in her gallbladder and it was removed 19 years ago. Isn't that interesting? So there's some chi blockages that are trying to get moved. So the thing about this practice is it, it doesn't isolate in any particular area. It just moves it all. It's like the fire hydrant of life. You just turn it on and it just does a, a rotor rooter, energetically speaking, on our system. <clears throat> so the three rivers, the upper, middle, and lower jowl, lead to a space in your back from the back of your skull to the width of your arms down to the base of your body is this huge space <clears throat> behind the organs in front of the, the rib cage and spinal column and it goes all the way down and this huge space is where a tremendous amount of blockages are so these rivers run to that ocean that huge space and when we chant wong ar hong using the body power mind power sound power and soul power you have significant, significant benefits. Uh, Master Shah, he comes on to the chanting channel, which is, um, you should write this down, tv.drshah.com. I'm pretty sure Kristen, if she's watching, will post it. And Master Shah is on there all the time chanting these mantras that are, that are self-healing mantras. They're extraordinary. And when he does that one, that, you want to chant with him on that one. There's a, there's a schedule when you can see when, the, when they come on. Uh, but truly amazing. So, um, yeah, and the colors, don't get too fixated on the colors because um, you can use gold, you can use red, white, and blue. You can use whatever the colors you want. Uh, and the reason I say that is because the master I first learned this from, uh, she used different colors. She even used a different body position. Uh, the colors assist us with bringing our attention to that area of the body. So it's, it's purposeful to, to bring focus and attention to bring additional vibration. <clears throat> so for those that are not familiar with it, do use the 24-7 chanting channel. Uh, it is a, a huge energy field, constantly putting out blessings. You can make requests for blessings on there. Please offer your gratitude on there. There's a gratitude area too. Be, don't just take, give also. <clears throat> and that particular chanting channel is <laughs> much more powerful than anyone knows. It's, it's, a, it's such an underused tool. It's very sad actually. Um, and welcome also to Nancy Chapman. I think I saw you tune in earlier, Nancy. So this practice is a self-help uh, self tool. Um, I know we have busy lives. I know it's hard for us to keep up with everything. Everything's always hitting us over the head. Every time we turn around, we're getting whacked left and right. You can help yourself by strengthening your, um, your vessel. Because if you're not feeling good, if you're in pain, if you're sick, you got a headache, you're not going to react well to whatever's coming at you. Uh, when you don't react well, it irritates others, it irritates yourself, it creates more negativity, more of what you're not wanting. So who wants that? Better to do something that makes you physically feel better, emotionally feel better, mentally feel better. It will assist you with sleep, especially if you're consistent with it. It'll assist you with everything. Energy doesn't matter. And um, 
for those that are consistent, I tell you, it, it's like a one-stop panacea. It's pretty amazing. Just remember the soul power. Always important to remember the soul power. So uh, thank you to all those that have shared. I saw a few names pop up that I didn't acknowledge earlier. Uh, it only told me that you shared. So thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. If you came in a little late, um, it is recommended that you go back to the beginning uh, and, and watch because you get the information as to the what is it, why does it work, and how does it work. And then we actually do the practice. It's always good to do it in a group. Uh, it's always very good to, um, to come back to this also. Perfectly okay. Come to this one section where we do it together because when you do it with a certified teacher like myself and you do it in group, it's always, always, always better. Uh, that's why I suggested doing it with Master Shah on the chanting channel. So Crystal says, felt a lot of heat through her body. She was feeling tired prior to the practice and now she feels like her energy is back. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. So thank you for this opportunity to serve you. Um, as always, you can find more information on my website, asoulhealer.com. I do offer extraordinary blessings, so if you're suffering, stop. Just contact me. I can help you. Um, and also, I do private consultations if you have mental, emotional things going on in your life. I do uh, personal consultations that can assist you quite a bit. So, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aloha, Megan. Sorry we missed you. I uh, hope you have time to watch this practice. It should help you a lot. And um, we'll catch you guys very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye.